So we've got a question here, how to lose 10 pounds in three days, military diet, does it work? It doesn't fucking work, I'm lean. <sighs> so I'm lean there. So you can see that my qualifications, what are my qualifications? 1.8% body fat. So we've got some, some qualifications here. Let's get, let's get it stuck in this one. Because we've got plenty of people out there giving weight loss advice, but 10 years afterwards, where are they? When you write bananas, bananas are right, spotty like that, spotty like a leopard. How lose 10 pounds in 10 days, 3 days, 4 days, 12 weeks, whatever, these are all calorie restriction diets, all fad diets. Military diet doesn't fucking work. Yes, it does work. Anytime you fucking starve yourself, you lose a bit. But what you do is you fucking train your body. You train your body into being a calorie storer, a water retainer. All right, that's why people, that's why diet industry is so popular. People are like, I try this, I try this, and they're just like jumping around. Military diet, let's have a look at it. Let's break it down. I'll calm down, relax. Day one, breakfast, half a fucking grapefruit, five calories. One slice of toast. Ooh, one slice. Don't have too many fucking carbs. Might blow out like Durin Rod and Freely. Two tablespoons of peanut butter. One cup of coffee for breakfast. Lunch is another cup of coffee, another slice of toast, and half a cup of tuna. So full calorie restriction, dinner, half banana, just, just fuck all calories. Maybe we're talking 1,000 calories a day. Anorexia diets. Anything under, well, un, anything under 2,100 calories a day, according to the World Health Organization, is grounds for starvation, famine, etc. Just World Health, just Google up World Health Organization, famine, 2,100 calories a day. Just share my honest opinion there. So, of course, if you eat like a starving person in refugee camp, you're going to lose weight. But what you're fucking doing is you're training your fucking metabolism to blow the fuck out. Do we have that book here, for Chuck? The great, the uh, Biology of Human Starvation? Yeah, we do. I think it's over there. Would you please, my lovely assistant, <laughs> get that book for me? Anything and, for you, honey, and maybe just, yeah, well, there's another good book as well called The Great Stuff. That's all right. Just, don't, just stay out of frame. <laughs> so basically, what happens is you're training yourself. Bam. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. The Biology of Human Starvation. Um, this is, if you ever get sued by someone in court, and because you've said their program's calorie restriction program or whatever, and they sue you in court, um, bring this book along as your defense. Bring your book along as your defense. Because this, in the future, there will be, in my, in my honest opinion, in the interest of the public interest, based on my assumptions and opinion, in, in the future, there's a lot of people making money on fad diets. And in the future, uh, especially in this litigated society, is people will be getting sued. These fad diet authors, these restriction diet authors, bikini diets or shredding diets or whatever fucking diets you're talking about at the gym or Instagram or Facebook or whatever, these diet promoters out there who are having these crash diets, they will be getting sued, class action lawsuits, because people are going to read books like this. They're going to be reading books like this, and they're going to go, hang on, my thyroid's fucked. Oh, hang on, my fucking heart tissue's fucked. Oh, hang on, my fucking metabolism's fucked. Oh, hang on, I had suicidal depression cut off a fucking hand because I was on that calorie restriction diet. And they're going to be suing these diet authors for calorie restriction diets. So this is a good book to read. It's a fucking big one. Just full of grass, full of stacks. Boring as fuck, but interesting and factual. That's what's going to happen in the future. So military diet, it's, um, if you know someone who's doing it, punch them in the fucking face. Maybe wrap, wrap your hand in some banana skin so you don't fucking knock their jaw out. But get, just wake them the fuck up and go, look what you're doing. You're fucking starving yourself. You've got an eating disorder or whatever. Go seek some help. Calm the fuck up. Eat enough calories. Because as soon as you stop that uh, starvation, anorexia mindset, then your body can heal. And until then, it doesn't happen. So there's plenty of people. We're pretty passionate about this one. I might not be able to tell, but uh, it's insane. So the military diet is just another fucking anorexia diet. Um, and the cool thing now with social media is things can get debunked so easily. So what you want to do, if you've got friends doing any diet, first of all, well, it's a three-step process. First of all, work out how many calories a day the diet recommends. Often they don't give numbers. Sometimes they do 1,600, 1,200, 1,600, 1,200, or whatever. And so if they're giving that, they'd write that down. 
and then look on Instagram, look up the hashtags, what people are eating, and then look at how, guess, don't know how many calories there are. You should know how many calories in your food just by looking at stuff, eyeballing it, bit of practice, bit of basic math, grade two maths, and then save some pictures, save some images, remember some names, and then go back a years later, or two or three or four years later, just save it up, man. All right? I've, I've done this, I've done this. And you look back, people either delete their accounts, they blow the fuck out, um, or they delete their accounts. They can, can never sustain it. Or they're on some other little diet, they're just yo-yoing around. I remember there was one girl on Instagram, she was doing a popular diet, and her, her channel name was something to 50 kilos or whatever. Now she's more like 90 kilos. She got down to 52, almost 50, 50, 50 pfft, blew the fuck out, because she's doing the, the fad diets, the 1600 calorie a day starvation nation situation. So that's where we have experience. I'm approaching 40 soon, and I've got experience dealing with so many girls and so many guys over the last 20 years being in the personal trainer weight loss mindset. My mum, my mum was fucking diet, 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 diet. So you could probably say I've got 30 years experience, but 20 years of real talking to people, looking at food, things like that, analyzing stuff. Because when you get in the cycling, it's all about body weight. So people like start talking about diet. So at least 20 years of like, and probably 30 years of exposure. So ever since I was eight years old, I used to look at diet books on my mum's shelf. So I understand, my mum my mom now, what she like? She used to be real thin, now she's clinically obese. Her metabolism is so fucked. She fucked it up so much because she didn't have the commitment to really stick at anything long term other than these fad diets which are guaranteed. No one can stick them long term. It's like trying to strangle yourself. No one can fucking do it because it's against your physiology. So people do that and they're like, oh, and then they go, I feel bad about myself. They don't never blame the author. They're like, oh, the author must have so much discipline, but they never blame that. They always blame themselves. That's what these diets are always about. They they like blame yourself. I you couldn't do it. Not enough dedication, bro. But it's always they're, they're designed to fail, man. Then jump on the next one. That's the weight loss industry America, man. man. You've all seen it. You all know what I'm talking about. So bottom line, carb the fuck up. Simple as that. Watch freely uh, daily vlogs, video. Fucking what she eats. Watch my stuff. Read our books. Simple shit. Don't get fucking scammed. Don't get hustled. We can if you want. It's your body, so you can do what you want with it. But we're just putting out our opinion out there, our advice, what we do, transparency. Thanks for watching. Leave the comments down below.